Hello friends, in this video I am going to show how to add 3D choice chip. So make sure to watch the video till the end. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel for more helpful Flutter videos. Here I have created this Flutter project with this UI. Here I want to show 3D choice chip for the answer of this question. To show 3D choice chip, I am using Flutter 3D choice chip package. Now let's set 3D choice chip here for the answer of the question. So here I will add two choice chip for yes option and no option. This 3D choice chips will be in a row. So first of all I will use row widget. And within this row widget, let's set 3D choice chip. For that I will be using choice chip 3D widget. So it has some callback handler on selected and on unselected. We will add code for that. Before that let's add code for this child property. So here I will add text widget inside this child property. So its value will be yes. Here you can see this choice chip is displayed. Let's change its style. So for that I will set this style property. Then I will use choice 3d style dot red to set red style. So this style is changed. Now let's set height for this chip. Here you can see this chip with red style. Likewise let's show another chip here for no option. So I will be copying same code. And I will change here in text widget. I will change its style to blue so we can easily identify two different chip. So here you can see this two chips are displayed. I want to add space between these two chip. So for that let's change alignment here in row widget. So now these chips are showing properly with the spacing between them. Now these both chips are unselected. Now let's make change to select them. So first of all inside this onset callback handler, let's change its value. So here I will write choice index that is I already defined here at the top to zero and then I will call set state. So as soon as this chip is pressed, its value will be set to zero. Also I will use this selected property to identify if this chip is selected. So for that I will use this choice index. So I will compare its value to zero. If that is zero means this first chip is selected. Now in this second chip, let's make change in on selected callback handler. So here I will set choice index to one. So as soon as this second chip is pressed, choice index will be set to one and I will call set state for state change. Then here I will set selected property. Let's copy this. Here I will check if this choice index equal to equal to one, then show it as selected. Here you can see the difference between these two chips. The first chip is selected because this choice index variable value is zero. That is default value set here in this variable at the top you can see. Now I am selecting second chip. Now this choice index value is changed to one and this chip is shown as a selected. That's how you can add 3D chips in your application. Now let's check by selecting these two chips. So these are getting changed and it looks more attractive due to its 3D look. Also you can change its style to other than the red and blue. This support three default style, red, blue and white. Also you can specify custom style. So let's check that. Using this choice chip 3D style widget, you can customize the style of this 3D choice chip. So let's check the 3D choice chip with custom style. That's all for the 3D choice chip. This source code is available on Git. Link is given in the description. If you have any issue or suggestion, please comment below.